Again. How you doing everyone? Turkey Buzzard here. Hope you're having a good day. Today we're going to find and hunt the legendary buck. Now if we look on the map, in order to find this buck we're going to have to head west and we'll follow the trail that goes past Watson's cabin where we got our semi-auto shotgun and then we'll head south. Now these legendary animals are actually valuable in a couple of different ways. The most obvious reason is that they're worth more money than normal animal skins. Now this area that we're hunting in is, I believe, one of the most dangerous areas in the game. Now if we open our map, you'll see that the symbol for the legendary buck is down here below Blackbone Forest. However, the first sign that you'll find is right up by the F in Forest. So that's where we'll look for our first sign. Now, as I was saying, this is one of the most dangerous areas in the game because I've been attacked here by wolves, I've been attacked by mountain lions, I've been attacked by bears. So, uh, very dangerous area for your character. Now you can use eagle eye in this to locate your signs for your legendary animals and then follow the trails until you find them. Now in my last playthrough that I did on this game, I was hunting up here for the legendary buck. I got attacked by five wolves right in the middle of my hunt. So I lost track of the buck, ended up having to leave and come back and do this hunt another day. Hopefully that won't happen to us this time around. You basically just have to keep following these tracks and these signs until eventually you spot the animal. Now the nice thing about these legendary animals is that no matter what you do you can't damage the skins. So I like to use my semi-auto shotgun with slugs and I'll fill this animal full of holes to make sure I get this uh, legendary hide, this legendary pelt. Cool, now that I've got this, uh, this buck, I want to hurry up and skin it and throw in a save before something happens. Now this buck as you'll notice is brown and white that's what's called a piebald buck which is probably what supposedly makes this buck legendary anyway now that we've got the uh, the pelt we want to throw in a save here because if we don't and we get attacked by a mountain lion or something like that and our character dies then we lose that pelt so it's nice to throw in a save and then that way if something happens we can always come back and reload the game. <laughs> so now we need to find a trapper to sell this this pelt to and we will find one Right along the railroad tracks, just below Wallace Station, there's another station called Riggs. And just behind Riggs Station, there is a trapper. And that's where we will head now. Uh, 
As I said earlier, these legendary animals are valuable for a couple of reasons. One, because their hide sells for more money, but it doesn't really sell for that much money, as you will see in a moment, because we are, we are just about to the trapper. So in case you're wondering about the location, it's right here behind Rig Station. Pretty easy to find. Well, it's been a little while, eh? So, buying or selling? Okay, let's take a look at it. Boy, the things I can make with this. So there, as you see, I only got $29 for that legendary buck pelt. And $29 is not that much, but that's not the main reason that I wanted to get this pelt. Anyways, uh, if we go to emerald ranch and talk to the fence you will see why you want to get these legendary animals Now that I got this legendary buck pelt and sold it, I can go to this fence and I can go to crafting and I can craft the legendary buck trinket. And by doing that, that will ensure that all of my future pelts that I okay. get when I, when I shoot animals will be in better condition and worth more money. Because in order to do any crafting upgrades at camp, many times you need perfect skins. And this buck trinket will help ensure that all of my skins are in way better condition when I hunt. And as long as I'm here and I have the money, I may as well buy some more equipment, dynamite, and the lock breaker, which will help make it easier to break some different locks that would come across in the game. So each of these legendary animals that you that you hunt, once you sell the skin, you are able to come here and craft a trinket for that particular animal, and each animal will give your character some type of a different perk, which will make it easier for your character throughout the game. Yep. Yeah. So now that we have the buck trinket, we are able to get better skins which will make it easier for me to get better crafting upgrades for our camp areas. And of course these crafting upgrades will make it easier for everyone to live a little bit more comfortably throughout the game. So that's how and why we hunt legendary animals in Red Dead Redemption 2. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. I always appreciate it when you do. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I put out new videos all the time. Be sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And as always, I want to thank everyone for watching. And I'll see you again real soon.